All right, Tuesday, dinner time. I got a canteen cup. I'm gonna reach back a little bit. I'm gonna start pulling some stuff for my 100 sub contest because I had people that suggested all kinds of stuff. And today I'm gonna start off with the MI Woodsman's request. He wanted me to do some macaroni and cheese with tuna. So if you haven't checked him out yet, y'all go check him out. His outdoor stuff, camping, canoeing, cooking, gear, all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link to his channel below. Let's see what we got. A canteen with some water. We got sweet peas. We got the tuna. We got the macaroni. The cheese sauce. Some panko bread topping. Some Tabasco sauce. And hey, a little black pepper. Let's get this guy rolling. All right, I put about 20 ounces of water in the cup. Now for my macaroni and my cheese sauce, what I'm using are these Kraft Deluxe. I'm using white cheddar tonight. And if you get the Deluxe, it comes with actual cheese sauce package, not just the powder. So you're microwaving in the water and having the right extra water left over to make the cheese sauce. It's not important. I can boil the macaroni, dump the water, and I've got actual cheese sauce here. Now, I'm a big fella. One of these isn't enough for me. So i got two packets here. About a half a cup of sweet peas. And a pack of tuna. And it's going to make about a 600 or so calorie meal for you at camp that night. I was turning the stove the wrong way. I'm used to cutting everything down really low so we can cook. I want this guy to boil. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is throw in our frozen peas. Now that we're out of boil, we can turn that stove way down and it'll keep boiling. But these peas, they're going to take about a minute or two longer than the pasta to cook. This, this stuff here, I don't know, it says it does it in like three minutes in the microwave, so that's what I'm going to cook it for in here. And uh, I hope that's right, because otherwise I'm going to overcook my peas. Alright, let's add in this pasta. Same thing, I'm going to run my spoon on the bottom, make sure I don't stick a noodle down there. And I think what I decided I'm going to do is when I take this off the heat after the pasta cooks, I'm going to drop the tuna into the hot water before I dump it out. And sitting in there for just a few seconds ought to warm the tuna through. All right. Now, I don't know what the difference is, but it take, did take a little bit longer boiling the noodles than it does in the microwave. The instructions on the microwave, and I've made these a lot and they come out fine, is three and a half minutes. I had to boil those for about five minutes to get a, the noodle cooked. You know, depending on what you buy, this isn't a super stupid cheap meal, but you can make this for less than five dollars on the trail. I mean, I've got pennies out of a two dollar bag of frozen sweet peas if you bought the individual size uh, microwave sweet peas they are um, I think 79 cents at my local grocery store at regular price 
the packet of tuna here was a dollar um, dollar thirty nine. And I'm not sure. I will look next time I stop in to the uh, Dollar Tree and see if they have some packets like this. I know they've got some cans, but these packets are better if you're backpacking. And the Dollar Tree has some off-brand microwave noodles, but they're nasty. I tried some last week, and I didn't even show them to y'all because they were pretty gross. But what they do have is uh, elbow noodles you can buy, a great big box of them, and they've got individual Velveeta cheeses. And I used that in a meal a few months ago, and man, those were fine. It was good. So if I was going to, you know, pick it up from the Dollar Tree, I'd grab, you know, 20 cents, I think is what a serving was out of the elbow macaroni, and a dollar Velveeta sauce. And, you know, I'll check and see if they have these next time I stop in. I'm not sure. But that would get your cost down a little bit because those little tubs there are a dollar a piece. Now, if I were at camp, from a cleanup perspective, I'd mix my cheese sauce into this in the bowl because that would be easier to clean up than getting the cheese out of here. But I think having the walls to mix around against will be easier to mix up in the cup. So I'm going to do that tonight. Show you what we got so far, though. It's pretty good looking. I think I'm going to mix a nice, healthy dose of black pepper in here first. Now we'll start going in with the cheese sauce. All right, let's see what this stuff looks like. Let's see here. Y'all see that? Now, now we're going to do a little experiment. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to take the panko. We're going to fire this guy back up, and we're going to use it like a torch and toast him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my spoon out of the way so it doesn't get hot. Wow, the teeter taste was good. Caught my panko on fire. What do y'all think? You know what I think? I think it's time to eat this guy. <laughs> I'm going to try a bite without the Tabasco and then we'll add it if I want it. Get my water. Man, that's really good. Hey, am I woodsman? I give your idea two thumbs up. That's spot on. I don't know that it needs any hot sauce, but you know, I know some of y'all got to go there. So for you. 
I'm going to add the Tabasco. Let's see if we can't find another level of yumminess. Alright, there's a good hot sauce bite. Yeah, that's a nice little twist. You don't need it though. Just if you like the hot sauce. I mean, Dad, look at this. You take your little one camping, and they're going to think Mom come out on the trail and cooked for them. <laughs> That's good stuff. Well, look here. We'll see you on the trail. Y'all have a good week.